You want to read? Uh, sure. Great, perfect. You're a star. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. We gather the feast of St. John of the Cross, priest and down to the church. Preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated on the right hand of the Father. To intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love for the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, 
By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to him in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it up for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, Then why did you not believe him? And if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading of the book of Numbers, we hear of people being enraptured. And we can use that word in such a way as to harken back to our childhood when we were enraptured the first time we've ever seen a Christmas tree or the nativity scene. Enraptured. The last time you were enraptured. We've become so accustomed to YouTube videos that can entertain us perhaps a little bit. We kind of almost dull our senses so we can't become enraptured. Good prayer is a moment of being enraptured, of being fully attentive to what matters most in front of us. We can miss the whole day because we're so beyond with things to do. But allow yourself to be enraptured and harken back to the experience you had as a child in front of that Christmas tree, in front of that Christmas stable. Let yourself be enraptured for just a moment. Let yourself go in prayer and be fully present to the divine and transcendent what is truly holy and discover the holiness within. <clears throat> we offer our prayers. We pray for students, faculty, staff, administration, family, friends, benefactors, and the love of Northbrook Catholic High School community. We pray for the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, all those who are in need of healing. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the deceased, that they may know the face of God. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers of our hearts. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us by the prayers of St. John the Cross to grow in faith, hope, and love in the season of Advent. We make this prayer through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted of God the Almighty. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the Lord's holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you. Thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and also past made manifest, we watch for that day and inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels of thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory to the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven, heaven. 
having your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.